Hi guys, it's Train Kids. So today's video, we will be reading out some scenarios that you guys sent us. This one. My BFF of seven months and boyfriend of two years were caught hooking up when I confronted <laughs> them. They told two it's different stories. Who should I believe? Well, None of them. None. Yeah, it depends on the story as well, yeah. yeah they does. hooked up, they hooked up, you caught them. Yeah, I don't think yeah. you need to. Are going to change your There's eyes. no explanation. Yeah. You both point. just need cutting out. Yeah, it doesn't matter how it happened, what mm. happened, it happened. Mm. So I'd say just. Yeah. I'm sorry. Both. Boyfriend of two years and friend of seven months. She was never your best friend. No. Next one. <laughs> I love when you didn't need that. I've been talking to this guy for a long time and I'm starting to lose feelings. How do I tell him that in the nicest possible way? You go I would actually it. just say so. Personally, me, because I don't like confrontation, so I would just start to kind of fizzle out, fizzle out, mm. and then kind of make a point. <laughs> I don't think that's the right. The it's right probably advice, not. The, yeah, it's probably it's not, not the right advice. advice. I think just try to be straight up, but say it in the nicest way as possible. Like especially if they've not yeah. done anything wrong. But yeah, don't you have to be a nice to. person at the end. And of the imagine day. if yeah. someone's leading you on, like you would definitely hate don't lead them on. You pick yourself in this life. And at the end of the day, they're going to be hurt either way. Mm. Well, not either way. They're going to be hurt, but it's alright. You can't stay with someone you don't love. That's just selfish. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna, yeah. You just have to pull out, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> yes. That's what yeah. I do. That's what it is, though. Yeah. It's not you, yeah, it's me. True. No, because it, yeah. that's probably what it is. Like, I, know, I get when guys bush. say that. They're yeah. probably lying, though. Yeah, they're lying. Yeah. They're but, lying. like... That makes sense. It's not you. It's me. What should? What else are we going to do about that? Like you're per, you're, you're perfect, mm. but just for not someone for me. else. Yes. Yeah. You can't say no. Stay with me because it's me. It's not you. They yeah. can't. They can't try and trap you back in. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The next one is I need help losing weight. I'll give you some advice on this because I've lost so much yeah. weight. It's how many years body yeah. transformation was, is crazy. Like I think it's the first person I've ever seen like actually change their body on demand. Mm. Um, not gonna lie, the way I did it, it wasn't the healthiest. Oh, I don't know. No, no, yeah, no, no, I'm not saying that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Everyone does it different ways. Start with a calorie deficit. Yeah. So make sure you're eating less calories than you usually do. Also, portion control. So just smallen down your portions a little bit. Make sure you're moving your body every day, so work out. If you're trying out the gym, you need to just keep in mind your goal. Yeah. Like, when you, there's actually gonna be days where you're gonna be like, oh, I don't wanna go gym today. I'm just okay. patient with yourself. Like, life's yeah. hard enough. Why do I always smile when it comes to moving them out? <laughs> the guy I'm talking to hasn't made it exclusive yet, but he hints that we're soulmates are meant to be. How long should I wait for him to make it? Never. rule that's the thing yeah no honestly if you're asking that that means he's never going to do it if a guy's giving you mixed signals <laughs> take it as a no. no but it don't even mean he's never going to do it like if he's longing it out this much it's not meant purpose. to be yeah. no, he has to want it more i always more. say this yeah. like, longing it out means no simple this is one rule i live by if you have to stop and think does this guy like me he doesn't Ooh. like you oh, no, it's true. It sounds like he's all talk and no action. Yeah, and those guys, even, even the fact that he's hinting that you're so mixed yeah. and meant to be, that's what you mean, hinting? That's, that's just, not enough. That's just a facade. They all do this thing where they hint that you're soulmates. They're soulmates of everyone. If, I think if it's been more than three, three months, months yeah. you should be boyfriend and girlfriend. No, I think give it four. Yeah. The next one. How do you deal with fake friends? We don't, because we, we don't have them. <laughs> We don't know nothing about it. I don't know what thing. You need to be wary of what other people tell you. If I met oh, you yeah. 25 seconds ago and you're telling me about your best friend, your childhood best friend's tea. Huh? That's really like, you have to just be observant. Like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. figure out who you're actually letting in your life. Like, don't just be letting everyone just because mm. she's cool and got blue hair and quirky. Yeah. And like, if you figure yeah. out their fake friend, like, later down the line, then you need a peaceful life. You don't need that in your life. Actually, just, like, separate yourself from them. And as well, you have to always trust your instincts. Like yeah. when you're around someone and you get that bad feeling, or you think like, right, that person's got bad intentions, their aura is bad, their energy is bad. It most likely is. Yeah. Okay, next one. Twenty. I've never been in a relationship. Oh, babe, nothing's worried about. That's <laughs> that. I don't stay. I'd so say stay single. Yeah. There's a reason you're not because you just have be young, let like, turn and single. You are blessed. And that just means that you have your what's it called? You have high standards. 
when you're picking up guys. Yeah. I just and take be... that and make sure you don't get in a relationship with a bum then. Yeah. So keep your standards. Yeah, if you're just... going to be single yeah. for 20 years, definitely don't make your first boyfriend a bum. Yeah. Sure By a bum, we mean like whatever just doesn't fit your yeah. standards. My best friend asked me to be the godmother to her daughter. My goddaughter is three now, and I just found out that the baby daddy is my boyfriend oh. that I've been with for six years, but I'm so attached to my goddaughter, and now I don't know what to do. First of all, oh, it's not the, it's not the kid's fault. Six years! Yeah. And it is only... <laughs> surely not, yeah. surely not. I mean, she is only three, so you can, like, want to attach yourself yeah. and forget about you. Oh, no. I don't think it's that easy. I know you can attach yourself from a little kid. I think it's more of a case of to cut the friend really. off but and only know. contact to see the little kid maybe ask for little no, play why dates the, the why are you not keeping gonna it with your baby dad's kid yeah. yeah and the mum's not gonna let you just with do play dates like yeah. oh, yeah, you would not if you... i'm saying I, now that you know i'm gonna feel like you have some sort of resentment what if you try yeah, to like, do like, revenge yeah, on my yeah, child like, there's no way to me that's a living breathing reminder of what happened i don't want to see the kid i'm so mm. sorry like yeah, yeah. yeah. and i hope I'll that go you cut life. the boyfriend off yeah. because he cut the boyfriend off. yeah if you're gonna cut someone off first it has to be the boyfriend don't be cutting the kid off and be staying friends with the mum and your boyfriend. Yeah, like, yeah. that's disgusting. What did, what did I hope that's not real. I hope someone got that from Reddit. Because I don't seem real, surely not. Next one. What do I do when I want to start dancing but my weight is holding me back? I think anyone at any weight can dance. Yeah. Like, it's, there's no specific way. You just need to throw yourself back into it and... Yeah. As you keep doing it, more and more it'll start to get easier probably yeah. as well. I think doing a new hobby at a mature age is always going to be scary. Yeah. Like you don't know people there, you don't know how to do it. Like you're you gonna feel a bit embarrassed. Yeah, like, I think genuinely just go for it. Go for it. Go to the dance classes. Next. Found out my long-term boyfriend cheated on me two months in the beginning with his ex-girlfriend from year 10. He's 20 now. Year he 10. wouldn't do this now, what do I do? He was a kid though at 15. No, as well. Cheater once can do it again, where he put. It's True, but you're thinking about situation. it, then that's your right answer. If you can have a mature conversation with him and like, you believe everything he's saying and you within yourself can trust both of you that you can move on, then obviously that's up to you. But, but also, if you know that you're not gonna be able to move on from it, about, like if you were cool with it deep down it wouldn't even be a question you would have just moved on and forgot about it but the fact that you're thinking about yeah. it means no. the fact that you're sending us and then I'm, yeah. and then I'm, there, I'm one of those people i would bring that up for di from the moment yeah. you open your eyes to the moment you put your head to rest i will continue talking about it because how dare you i couldn't do that i would have to leave i haven't you, you're 10 girls I couldn't yeah. answer. Well, he's not told you like. for five <laughs> years. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah, that's to be fair, I, I think I think the bad. Okay, yeah, I think it, all yeah. of it is bad, but I think the worst part is the, the fact that he doesn't he doesn't have a guilty conscience. Like you've actually just been fine to keep that up for yeah. five whole oh, years. Yeah. Like, me personally, I would have to leave pure, purely because I just wouldn't be able to look at you anymore. The relationship mm -hmm. wouldn't be the same. You you're just a light. I don't know if that helped you, but just go with your gut. Next. Mm. I was talking to a boy for a while and one day I asked what his plans are for the day and he said nothing special, just chilling at home. Later that night I saw him with another girl on a date <laughs> at a gas station. Now they are dating. A Isn't gas, it? gas station? Isn't leave it? that man. You don't even want to be on a <laughs> gas station date. I don't even know the rest. <laughs> that, that, that was, that was your sign. Isn't it, let, finish, let me okay, finish, let me finish. Isn't it weird talking to other girls while going on a date? Tell her. Yeah. Oh, they're just they're talking. Not. Oh. And I'm not gonna lie, no. I just feel like when you're just talking to someone, you're you capable know. of doing that. No, and I when they ask, you're not gonna be like, yeah, I'm on a date. Like, you're gonna feel... Uh, they're probably not on the same way. I though. think just, okay, I, I think bring it up to him and ask him and maybe ask, Why maybe set boundaries Why for... Why are you at the gas station? Yeah, what kind of station. date is that? You don't even want to be I think that's that the first question you need to ask. Though. Yeah, why is that the gas station? Yeah. He started off just being sneaky links till things went sideways. You never will be. You never will be. 